So this is the Hovsko Hove Beta Folding E-Bike. I've had it for about a little over a month now, so I thought I'd do a 30-day review for you. What a beautiful day. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And I've had this bicycle for just over a month now. So I wanted to do a, a review now that I've got some miles into it. Now, full disclosure, Hovsco did send me this bicycle for me to review for you. Um, but I'm going to do an honest review. Now I do have a discount code for you if you want to purchase this bike. I'll tell you a, a little bit about it later in the video. Now I have to tell you, the more I ride it, the more I love it. Um, it's fun to ride. It's just an absolute blast to ride. But especially for me, because I have a knee injury, it makes it possible for me to ride. Now obviously you can ride it without a knee injury, but uh, I've done thousands of miles touring bicycles all across the country on two-week bicycle tours and things like that. And I thought my bicycle days had come to an end. But because of the pedal assist in this, I can still ride and it doesn't bother my knee. Now I did do a full review of, of this in an earlier video and I'll link that down below. But basically, this has three modes. You can go with full manual and just pedal it like a bicycle. Or you can go with pedal assist and when you do that, you still have to pedal it. But the electrics kick in and, and assist you in your pedaling. Or you can go with full electric mode and there's a button on the, throt on the handle that's the throttle. And it basically turns it into an electric motorcycle and you don't have to pedal at all. I very rarely use that. I almost always pedal it because I'm I'm a bicyclist. <laughs> I want to get uh, exercise. I want to get my legs going. And the exercise helps uh, strengthen my knee as well. When you purchase this bicycle, let me read you a couple of things here on the website. All Hovsco e-bikes come with a 15-day return policy and a two-year warranty on certain bike parts. And uh, they also have partnered with a whole lot of uh, dealers all across the country where you can go in and test ride them and you can get maintenance and service on them. So I believe that the uh, dealers are listed on the website if you want to go there. Now I am about 6 feet 1, 220 pounds. This thing fits me perfectly. I have the seat up a fair amount, so you can lower it quite a bit. And I think it'll still go up a little more as well, and it handles my weight and height very well. Now I have ridden other e-bikes and this has got something in it very special. It's called a torque sensor. Now the other, other e-bikes that don't have a torque sensor, the way they work, they claim to have pedal assist, but when you turn the pedals, 
All that does basically is turn on the throttle. It's not related to how fast or how hard you're pedaling. So you could have it at the highest assist level and you can hit the throttle and it'll go or you can just start to spin, spin the pedals and it'll go. And you can just spin them very slowly just to turn the throttle on and it goes and it has no relation to how hard you're pedaling. I really like the uh, torque sensor in here because, well, let me read what it says on the website. This is pretty cool. Okay, the torque sensor, pedal assist systems measure the amount of power you are putting into the pedals and it will increase or decrease the electric assist based on your pedaling power. The torque sensor systems have a very intuitive ride feel because they emulate your pedal power very well. And I have to say, that's true, it's very intuitive. Uh, they're also generally found only on more expensive e-bikes or e-bike kits. So, with the kind that doesn't have the torque sensor, like I say, you just pedal slowly and the electrics take off. With this one, you can get a real workout because the faster you pedal, pedal the faster it'll go and your, your pedals are always engaged with the rear wheel. So it's, it's not just spinning loosely. I really like that. I can go out, I, can, I feel like I'm really riding a bicycle, not an electric moped. And I can get a real workout and I still feel like I'm a bicyclist. <laughs> That's great. <coughs> and with the pedal assist and the torque sensor, I can put it in the highest assist level, which is uh, pedal assist five and I can put it in the highest gear in the back here, which is uh, seventh gear. And I can very easily just tool along at 16 or 17 miles an hour without hardly breaking a, a sweat, but I'm still pedaling. On my standard bike, my non-electric bike, when I'm cruising down the road, I'm usually only doing 12 or 13. So this is already doing five miles an hour faster than I can on my standard bike unless I'm really pushing it. Now this bicycle also comes with an app on the phone and uh, when you get the bike I believe it's locked at six miles an hour or seven miles an hour not the pedaling but the, the the electric part and you have to download the app and then you connect the bicycle to the app via Bluetooth and then you can unlock higher speeds you can unlock class 2 that'll take you up to 20 miles an hour and then class 3 that'll take you up to 28 miles an hour now on full electric mode it'll only go up to 20 miles an hour. If you want to go to 28 you have to put it on pedal assist and then pedal and it'll go to 28 miles an hour. Like I said in my earlier video I couldn't get it to unlock class 3. It unlocked class 2. I could not get it to unlock class 3. So I ended up talking to customer service and I discovered the problem was that when I tried to uh, open it to class 3 it wasn't attached with Bluetooth. So I just reattached it with Bluetooth, it opened right up to class 3, and now it works fine. But there's one con, there's one negative, and it's not really a negative I don't think, but it doesn't do the 28 miles that they, an hour that they claim, and here's why. Like I said, it's, the pedal assist is, uh, it senses how fast you're pedaling, and it gives that amount of electric power based on how much pressure you're putting on, on the pedals. Well, it's not geared high enough down here. And in seventh gear and pedal assist five, which is the highest level, I can get up to 20 and you're spinning really fast. I pushed it a couple times, I got up to 23 miles an hour and at that point I was spinning so fast I couldn't keep up with it. There's no way to go any faster than 23 because you just can't pedal that fast. So theoretically it'll take you up to 28, but in practice I haven't seen it be able to do that. Now what I was thinking was, I could possibly modify it. I don't know what Housco would have to say about this, but if I took it to a, a bike shop and had them put a little bit larger chain ring here, a couple teeth larger, I'd probably get a higher speed out of it. That would also raise my lowest gear, but that, I wouldn't really be concerned about that because you have the electrics to help you with that. So that's one possible solution. 
uh, to go faster. But you know, like I said, I, on my on my standard mountain bike, I usually do 12, 13 miles an hour. I can already truck along on this effortlessly at 18 miles an hour. So that's fine. I don't really feel like I need to do 28. And uh, 28 is not legal on most bike trails anyway. So that's the only negative, and to me it's not really a negative because I'm perfectly happy trucking along at 15, 18, 20 miles an hour on this thing. It feels very comfortable at that speed. It has disc brakes, front and rear. And it has a front shock, which is great for trails. And if you're riding on the road and you don't want the shock, you can turn this and it locks it out so it doesn't doesn't uh, telescope anymore. It has a 720 watt battery, a Samsung LG battery that's integrated right into the frame. And you can either charge it while it's plugged while it's in, just plug it in right here, or with this key you can take it out take it in the house and charge it that way. So a full charge on the battery will give you about 40 miles in full electric mode or about 60 miles on um, pedal assist. That should be enough to get to work and back. Okay. Now this bike is not labeled or touted to be a mountain bike, but it is an all-terrain, you know, with this great big four inch wide tires you can take it anywhere it says on the website you can take it on trails you can take it on the beach wherever you want to go and uh, because of the electric motor and the pedal assist I think it's going to be pretty good at climbing on trails I ride a mountain bike a lot that's not electric and uh, I've, I've done that for years so I want to kind of test this out there's a grass hill right here that's pretty steep I'm just going to put it in pedal assist and see how easily it climbs this hill All right, that bit did pretty well. I have it on pedal assist five, which is the highest, but I had it in fourth gear. So I'm gonna try it again with pedal assist five in first gear and see if it's any easier. Yeah, this is really steep, probably 50 degrees or more, and I just walked right up it. So it's going to work as a mountain bike too. I'm excited about that. Okay, so if you're interested in purchasing this bike or any other Hosco bike, I have a link in the description down below. And if you use my link and then you use the coupon code LSLF, Live Simple, Live Free, then you're going to get $100 off of any bike on the website. So that's pretty cool. I love the folding feature with this as well. It folds right here and the handlebar folds down. It will very easily fit into uh, a trunk. It won't fit into my trunk because I have a very small car, but it'll fit into a trunk of a medium to large size car or an SUV or a minivan or anything like that. 
and you don't have to hang it off the back in the weather. Just fold it up and take you with it. Take it with you. I absolutely love that. Now when it locks together, it doesn't feel like it's a folding bike. It feels absolutely stable. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and if you're thinking about getting it, I highly recommend it. I love this bike. I'm riding more all the time. Thanks for watching. Live simple. Live free. You'll be blessed.